So 73 yards released just the other day, and it is the fourth episode of the newest season of Doctor Who. And I'm personally someone who loved the episode so much that it's probably one of my favourites in the entirety of the show. But it did make me a little sad seeing a lot of negative response to it, especially when a lot of it only really revolved around the explanations given. So I thought I'd make this video and go through how I personally interpreted the episode and try and solve some of those issues for you. So let's get straight into it. Now, let's start with how Ruby actually becomes the woman we see following her throughout the episode. Well, my personal theory is that the woman following Ruby the whole time is actually, in fact, a reaper that at the point of Ruby's death comes to take her away. The life review theory states that some people upon dying or coming close to dying, they see their life play out in a rapid manifestation. As we see in the episode, Ruby is still alive when she is taken into the perspective of the woman. I believe that she at this point is just a passenger being shown her life by this reaper. Normally these reapers would not be able to be perceived by people throughout their life, but the breaking of the fairy circle caused her reaper to just be permanently visible. This whole replaying of her life thing kind of almost feels like a bootstrap paradox in the episode, but I actually don't think that is the case and I'll touch more on that later. Because another issue people have with this woman that was following her is why did everybody run away if she was Ruby? Like, that made no sense. But if it is a Reaper, I think that the main reason is they are staring death in the face. And I think what adds credibility to this is we never actually see the Reaper turn and talk to the person. They're still doing their hand gestures, they're still staring at Ruby. And yet these people just run away in absolute fear. And I think that could be why. Sometimes they run away from Ruby specifically, like Carla did. But I think that's probably because it is Ruby's Reaper. And so she is heavily linked with that fear that makes them run away. If you're struggling to understand how that's even possible, that they can just stare at the woman and run away, think of it like the bogeyman in Space Babies. Now, as mentioned before, this episode really makes it feel like Ruby's in some sort of like bootstrap paradox loop. But... I don't think that is the case. If we roll with my theory of the woman being a reaper, in the first loop, Ruby doesn't see the woman instantly. In fact, she only sees the woman after the fairy circle is destroyed. And so the fairy circle must have been the thing that allowed the reaper to be visible. As a reaper would normally follow a person throughout their life, this reaper in the first loop is just the standard reaper, and so they do not interfere. And hence why we don't have Ruby stop the doctor stepping on it in the first place because she is not yet the passenger. Hopefully you're following along with what I'm trying to say. It can get really confusing when you're talking about time loop things, but I'm gonna continue on. So when Ruby then dies and we go to the second loop, she even asks the doctor who the woman is in the distance before they've made it to the fairy circle, which did not happen at the start of the episode. I think the reason she can see the reaper earlier this time is because a reaper will follow a person throughout their whole life. And so they actually are always there. You just can't physically see them. And so because of the breaking of the fairy circle, she can spot them this time earlier than she could before. As this version of events seen at the end of the episode plays out with the old Ruby watching, she is then able to talk to Ruby and interfere and stop the Doctor from stepping on it. And again, it's probably super confusing, but hopefully that makes sense. And that should cover mostly everything to do with the woman that follows Ruby throughout the episode and how she all works. But what about the Doctor? Where the bloody hell did he go? Well, I think that with all the supernatural stuff leaking into this new season, the fairy circle was indeed infused with a curse, despite what the locals say. The breaking of the fairy circle, I believe, actually does unleash this being called Mad Jack and takes the Doctor's soul in place of his. I'm not sure who or what exactly Mad Jack is. My best guess is something like a demon, something in that realm. And with the Doctor previously mentioning Roger Apgulliam, I think that is where this Mad Jack entity possessed. Another issue people have with this episode is, does Roger still exist in 2046 in our actual timeline? And I think he does. As the Doctor claims, he almost brought about a nuclear war. And the key word there, is almost. I think that this curse caused him to be possessed by this entity Mad Jack and in the timeline we see in the episode he was actually going to activate the nukes and create a nuclear war and Roger Abguillian will always be this terrifying Welsh Prime Minister. He just won't get that far in the original timeline. So everything the Doctor says is true. He was just destined to be worse in the episode we watched. Now, I definitely just said way too much and the video could have been way too confusing. So if you do have any further questions, just drop some comments down below. I'm happy to answer them and give some further insight. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video, but that is all I have for you today. And as always, thank you for watching.